Hello, I'm Penny Zacco, and today I want to show you the wonders of the ER7. Part of our everyday radiant cooking, the ER7 is a fine example of the innovation of Arga Engineering. The ER7 has flexible controllability, so you can actually choose what you want to have on. Each area of the cooker works independently, and actually both the roasting oven up here and the baking oven down here has variable temperatures. So whenever you want to cook something, you can actually cook it at a really reliable, accurate radiant heat temperature, an Arga first. With full controllability of the temperature within these two ovens also impacts on the amount of heat that comes from the cooker as well. So not only can you control the actual temperature of the ovens, but also the temperature that comes from the Arga too. Now, if I just open up the door here, I'll show you the setting that it's on already. And this is called the slumber setting. And we can see here an S in these little icons here that represent the roasting oven and the baking oven. This is a fantastic feature of the cooker. It means that you get a lovely ambient heat within your kitchen area. And also, the fantastic thing about it is, because there's already heat in the ovens, the ovens which normally take just an hour to heat up from cold, from the slumber setting, will actually heat up in just 15 minutes. The simmering oven down here remains the same temperature throughout. That's around about 110 degrees. The great thing as well about having the ER7 on a slumber setting means that you actually end up with three simmering ovens, which is fantastic for cooking throughout the day or even overnight. On the top here, I've got some root vegetables and some rice. And once they've come up to the boil, you drain most of the water off and then they can actually sit inside your simmering oven down here. You can actually fit up to six pans inside the oven here and the rice will steam as well as the vegetables and it's really good healthy food because you're not actually drawing all the nutrients out during the cooking process so this style of cooking gets a big thumbs up from me on the simmering plate here i have a lovely cherry compote that's just come up to the bubble and whilst it's on simmer i can actually place that into the baking oven because that's actually a slow cooker and inside my roasting oven up here, it's a slow oven again because it's on slumber, I've got some gorgeous beef ribs slow cooking in there. So on slumber, we have three slow ovens. Not only do the ovens work independently, so do the hot plates too. Now when the ovens are on, you will get a residual heat that rises through the cast iron and the hot plates will only take around about eight minutes to come up to full cooking temperature. However, if the ovens aren't on, you're looking at around about 11 minutes and you turn them on and off by this little icon here. So they're off now and to turn them on, we press this one and then you choose what you want on. So this cooker, even when there's no ovens on, still huge capability of cooking on the top because you can cook in the conventional way. But look at how big these hot plates are. You have a wonderful wide spance of cooking area on the top, which is great to put multiple pans on. And if, say, you don't have the ovens on, the top is more than capable of cooking some delicious meals. Also really, really easy to clean. Because they're on off, these go nice and cold. You can give them a really good clean just with the e-cloths. The ovens as well, you can just use a wire brush and just brush out the floor of them. And the cast iron here, again, you can use the wire brush on. Very, very low maintenance on the cooker. And in fact, this cooker does not need to be serviced at all. It comes with its own plinth and it has no flue. Perfect for any kitchen area. The ER7 is a fine example of classic Arga cooking combined with the latest technology. And here we see a touchscreen that you actually can operate multifunctionally. You turn it on via here to actually alter the temperature. Keep your finger on here. You change it to manual. Press your oven. This is the roasting oven. And press down here. This is your simmering oven. And press down here. This is your baking oven. B4 is normal 
agar cooking. So if you're used to an agar before, B4 is your baking oven temperature. R8 is the normal cooking temperature for an agar on roasting oven. It is adjustable and you can turn these temperatures up and down, which is fantastic. And as I say, an agar first. So with the roasting oven here, keep your finger on there. You can then turn it down to B4. Now B4 is actually the same temperature as the baking oven. So what's fantastic, if you love baking, you love cooking at baking oven temperature, the ER7 gives you two baking ovens. You can also turn it up like so. And R9 is a fantastic setting because you actually have a natural grill. That's the highest setting. So your roasting oven, actually the scope, the temperature of your roasting oven is 240 to 180. Your baking oven also turns down. So the top temperature being B4, and then you turn it down all the way down to B1. So the temperature of the baking oven is 180 all the way down to 140, which gives you a slow cooker. The ovens will take 45 minutes from cold to come up to full cooking temperature. And you'll see that the flashing goes solid red rather than flashing up here when it has reached that temperature. Now we like to recommend to actually wait a full hour before actually cooking the oven just to get the best cooking results. The simmering oven down here always remains at the same temperature, which is around about 110 degrees. And to turn them off, you just press and the light goes out. So now there's no ovens on at all. The ovens can also be operated on automatic, which is down here. So if you keep your finger on automatic and you can see now we've got the baking oven and the roasting oven on, and we've got the baking oven on B1 which is the lowest baking oven temperature. And we have the roasting oven at R9. They're both flashing, they're both heating up, and we can actually preset it, come on, at whatever time we want, because what you get with your ER7 is a handset where you can actually program on a daily basis or on repeat to come on whatever time suits you. So this cooker will be on when you want it on and off when you don't lower running costs and not as much heat coming into your home. I love the R7 because this is an Arga first and it's a fantastic cooker to have in your modern homes and fits very well with modern lifestyles and it's a fabulous choice for people that maybe love the concept of Arga but don't want the 24-7 heat. So ER7, everyday radiant, on off, Arga cooker giving you fantastic radiant heat cooking seven days a week. For those of you that might be used to a gas cooker, we've made it really, really easy with this touchscreen here and the numbers equate to gas marks. So it's very, very easy to move from any other cooker that you might have previously had to Arga cooking. The ER7 is not only easy to use, but your results will be fantastic. I always say the Arga makes a bad cook a good cook and a good cook a fabulous cook. Because the ER7 offers you variable temperatures within the ovens, it also means that you can also control the amount of ambient heat that comes from your agar. So the slumber setting will give you a nice warmth inside your kitchen. However, if you wanted more heat, there's nothing stopping you from turning up your roasting oven to R8 and your baking oven up to B4, and that will give you more heat inside the room. It's a fantastic way of controlling the temperature of the Arga, depending on what the weather is doing outside. So I'm now going to actually set the temperature inside the oven. So I'm gonna set it at the lowest temperature. First of all, in the roasting oven, I'm gonna turn that down to a B4. There's five different settings inside that oven. And my baking oven, I want to set at the lowest temperature. So I'll just put my finger on there. And I'm going to actually turn that down, look, to B1. And these are perfect now for cooking the dishes that I'm now going to show you. So down here at the moment, I actually have a cheesecake that's been cooking and it's a fantastic temperature B1 just to set that cheesecake. And let me take it out of here now. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous baked cheesecake. 
In the roasting oven at B4, it's perfect for cooking something like I've got here. And this is actually my blueberry skillet cake, which you start cooking on the top, so it gets really nice and hot in the frying pan. And then you just open up the door, and at B4, I can pop it straight in there, take the handle off, and let it carry on cooking. What I've got here is a high baking oven on B4 and a low baking oven down here on B1. And there you have it, your blueberry skillet cake. Easy in an ER7. I'm going to bake a short cake now and the perfect temperature is B4. And actually I can cook it in either my roasting oven or my baking oven down here. I'm going to show you how to change your baking oven now into the highest setting, which is B4. So you put your finger on there, and then we just press up. And B4. You only have to wait 20 minutes between the cooking temperatures to achieve that higher one. And it'll start flashing, and then once it's come up to full temperature, it'll go solid red. B4 is also a wonderful temperature for cooking fish as well. And the great thing about cooking in the Arga cast iron ovens is you can cook different foods in the same oven at the same time. So I could have some shortcake cooking in there at the same time as maybe some salmon fillets. The roasting oven up here on R8 is perfect for cooking pastry. And I'm gonna be cooking a pie in there. So let me turn now the roasting oven up to R8. So finger on the button and then over to here to turn it up. And there we go, R8. And you'll start to see that flashing again as it starts to heat up. And once again, it takes around about 20 minutes. This is one of my favourite desserts and it's a shortcake with some apricots and some raspberries. And I love baking on the ER7, uh, especially at this B4 for this particular dish because you're cooking with radiant heat. You actually don't get any bleed from the raspberries inside the shortcake. So we can see we're up to full temperature now. It's stopped flashing. If I open up the baking oven, and I'm using a port merion dish here, which is really great for the Arga, and I'm gonna pop it straight onto the runners. 45 minutes, and that's gonna be cooked to perfection. Whilst the shortcake is baking in the baking oven on B4, I'm going to pop some white chocolate in a little glass bowl. I'm just going to sit it on the top here because when the ovens are on, you actually get a heat coming through the enamel and this is perfect for melting chocolate or butter for a recipe instead of using a microwave. The roasting oven is now up to temperature. It's gone solid red and we're at R8, which is perfect for roasting meat. It's also great for baking pastry. And I've got here a lovely plate pie on the Port Merion Fire and Ice collection. This is actually chilled, I've just taken this out of the fridge and I'm now going to pop that directly onto the floor grid on the base of the ER7 roasting oven. That'll take around about 45 minutes and the great thing is I haven't had to pre-cook any pastry at all. We're going to crisp the base and the top's gonna to cook beautifully as well. So here we have our two pans, one on the boiling plate, so that's nice and hot, that's the hottest. So actually you can boil your kettle on there, you can do your toast on there, fabulous for the stir fry I'm going to do. And over here, the simmering plate, a nice gentler temperature, perfect for doing that all famous Arga egg on it. So I've got a little bit of oil in here, that's heating up beautifully. So I'm going to add, first of all, my stir fry vegetables. Over here I'm going to do a really healthy steam fry. So I'm going to pop a little bit of oil in there. First of all I've got some lovely baby peppers. I'm going to pop those in. And I've got some lovely butter beans as well so we'll pop some of those in. We've got a lovely sizzle going on here on the boiling plate with our stir fry. And over here, just a little simmer. So to this one now, I'm going to add my cooked prawns. I'm going to pop in some pesto. And we'll put in a little bit of basil as well. What we're going to do now is add a glass lid. There we go. And we're just going to leave that on there now, just for a few minutes. 
Go back over to the stir fry over here. Let's add those egg noodles now. It's meals in minutes on the Arga. And then we've just got a supermarket sauce, which we're just gonna pop all in there. Now the joy of the ER7 with the hot plates that turn on and off is if somebody isn't quite ready for dinner, what you can do is actually turn that off and it'll stay nice and warm because the cast iron will hold the heat for a certain amount of time. After about four to five minutes, you'll see that we've got a lovely condensation now that's formed on the glass lid and it's bubbling just gently, which is exactly what I want. I'm just gonna add some creme fraiche to that for a nice indulgent finish. And there you have your fantastic butter bean and prawn with pepper steam fry. Meals in minutes on the Arga cooker, a stir fry and a steam fry cooked on the top. Quick, simple, delicious and good for you. When cooking in the ovens, if your Arga ER7 has a fan, just click on the Arga logo. That will start the fan going and any excess moisture or smells will actually come through the vent and then you end up with beautifully delicious food cooked in your Arga ovens. R9 in the roasting oven is the highest setting and actually on R9, the top of the roasting oven being cast iron gets incredibly hot and it's perfect for naturally grilling food. Here I have some lovely sourdough with some Welsh rarebit mixture on the top. And I'm gonna just pop that now right at the top of the oven. So round about four to five minutes on our nine at the top of the roasting oven, we have our gorgeous Welsh rarebit. Look at that. To brown dishes such as this gorgeous fish pie I've got here with a potato topping or maybe a lasagna, then R9 again is perfect. And we just slide the dish right at the top like so. And we just shut the door. 15 minutes at the top of the roasting oven on R9. And I reckon this fish pie is now ready. Look at that, beautiful. The Arga ER7 has some fantastic added features. We've got the Arga logo and inside the door too. These are actually removable and they'll go in the dishwasher so you can always have a nice clean interior door. Around the edge here, inside the oven, we have special coating on there to stop any rust. And that's really important with this particular Arga because you might choose not to use your ovens maybe for a number of months if you're just quite happy to use the top. We have a really high quality, glossy finish to the enamel. The colours are so contemporary and we have a full range, including the return of the British Racing Green. The top is enamel too. And remember, this is an area where we can place things on to keep warm or to melt on there as well. The fine quality chrome lids on the top house this gorgeous top plate here and both sides the boiling plate and the simmering plate are solid cast iron too easy cleaning remember just a wire brush on the cast iron on the top and an e-cloth around the edge the second e-cloth to buff it up no flue no plinth it all comes with what you need so very very easy maintenance and of course no servicing at all fully electric available in the three oven that i've got here today but also available in a five oven too and with the five oven the controls behind this door control these three ovens but the additional two ovens you will actually have a push button and those two ovens will heat up in just an hour, the same as the ovens on the main body of the Arga. You will have a slow oven at the top, cooking at around about 120, with a fantastic warming oven at the bottom, perfect for keeping food warm for up to two hours. If that wasn't enough, you can also have a module to the side. So if you wanted conventional cooking, maybe um, induction, you can also have that too. 
So, the ER7 available in a three oven, a five oven, a three oven plus a module, or a five oven plus a module too. The Arga ER7 is the perfect cooker for you. If you want that joy of radiant heat cooking that's classic to Arga, but also you live a modern lifestyle where you might not want 24 seven heat and you like to have very reliable temperatures. The top oven, the roasting oven, goes from 240 to 180. There's five different settings in there. This oven here, the baking oven, from 180 to 140. And of course, your simmering oven down here, which is your slow cooker, cooking at around about 110. At the top here, you have a boiling plate, which is perfect for boiling a kettle. And the simmering plate here, otherwise known as your indoor griddle. And a piece of Bako Glide on the top of there, you can actually cook agar eggs, seafood, even fry some bacon. The ER7 most certainly has it all. It is all singing, all dancing Arga. I love it, I think you will too. If you want to see this cooker a little bit more in action, then contact your local store. See a live demonstration on the Arga cooker. I think the biggest decision for anybody when selecting the correct Arga for them is actually the colour that they choose.